got Doss, they completely underwhelmed. I don't even want to take another sip after the break. Like, <laughs> he said, I'm done. I'm done with this shit. Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. We back in the building for another episode of Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey, the podcast, man. Everybody loves BBW. You already knew that. But, uh, of course, I got the whole gang with me, man. So I got Angry Principal off camera. What's up? Got my man Bo in the building. Sure. And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Uh, so, look, so we back in the building, man. I know we've been gone for a week, but hopefully you watched all of the replays. And uh, if you haven't bought any merch, make sure that you hit that QR code at the bottom of the screen right now and see what we got to offer. All right, so we're back in the building today, man. We got some uh, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, right? But this time, we take it all the way to the chicken cock. <laughs> That's for real the name I of the bourbon. I, I turned it away from the camera because I felt like when I said cock and you saw the word, it was going to seem like it was like some, some triple X shit, but it's not. All right, so... Chicken cock. I've never heard of this before, but it's a very interesting story behind it, especially some of the places where this used to be served. Uh, so I'm super excited to talk about that. Uh, Bo got more information on it, so we're going to get into the story. Uh, so, Bo, tell us a little bit of background on the chicken cock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so a little background on chicken cock. So, supposedly, it go all the way back to 1856, you know, like a long time ago, right? Uh, it was real popular. Then, you know, Prohibition hit. It went away. They actually started making it over in Canada and then, you know, sneaking it back over in these like, little tin cans, or, you know, little, little gas cans or whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, you know, it, it was served at a lot of speakeasies around the country, you know, a lot of popular speakeasies, you know, like, uh, for instance, the, the Cotton, Cotton Club, Club in Harlem, sure. you know, and uh, the deal, the deal was that, like, if, if you had a bottle of this, you know, like, you was well, you, you was well, pretty yeah. good. Was back then. Bad yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. It cost about 15 bucks, you know, right. a, a tin can. So this we talking what 1920s, you know. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's a good deal of money. Yeah, that's right a lot there. of money, it's just, right? So anyway, uh, even Duke Ellington, you know, uh, if y'all don't know who Duke Ellington is, you got Google, you know. Right. Uh, Check him out. Yeah. Even Duke Ellington had, had, had wrote about it and whatnot. So obviously, you know, it it, it made its impact on not only like uh, bourbon culture, but black culture too. Right, know? for sure. Yeah. Especially when you're talking about prohibition time and you're talking about Harlem and you're talking about that export to Canada, like mm -hmm. when things weren't legal, I automatically started thinking about Bumpy Johnson and, <laughs> and gangsters. Like they're like, for real, like that's kind of the era that it takes you back to and yeah. Lucky Luciano and all of them. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like, for the me, <laughs> yes. It's like, so for me, the story behind <laughs> it is like super amazing. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what it tastes like. And what what was the proof on this? 90, 90, 90, 90 yeah, proof. 90 proof. All right, so can you imagine, though, like, real prohibition liquor, mm -hmm. though? Like, that was really a thing. Like, yeah. for me, I felt like if you got some prohibition liquor, this is like, right. you touching the tap. And the shady like, little tin can. Not no nice bottle. Yeah. Just a little tin can. Seriously. Yeah. Nah, for sure. All right, so we're going we gonna to check it out. We go First, we're going to pop this cord. Is that a, it looked like a real cord, man. It's a real cord. It looks okay. like a yeah. right, so, balls of the cord. Oh, hold on! No. Hold on! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. Oh, it's wait. like hold, hold on. up! Had this been no. open already? No, no, no that's a brand right. new bottle. Let's, let's pause one more time. Uh, at least uh, it did. Uh, the first time we didn't do shit. I, just, I went like much slower. Yeah, but that shouldn't. Yeah, I figured it was gonna be a little yeah. more pop to the cut. <laughs> I'm glad I stopped because I was about to waste something. A little more pop to the cock, man. I thought it would be. Let's see. <laughs> Poppy cock. <laughs> oh, man. Now, it's from, it's from Kentucky. Um, but then, obviously, I, I know they had to do some uh, some export. And I wonder what, yeah, what so happened. It was a dude, an entrepreneur, who not long ago, he read up on the story and whatnot. Okay. And he just put some money behind it and brought it back. Gotcha. You know what I mean? That's he, that is made back in Kentucky now. Got you. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering. So... Yeah, a lot uh, of but, brands they're starting to like buy old brand names mm -hmm. and bring them back, buying the rights to the names and bring those companies back. Gotcha. So, yeah, that's, okay, that is happening. Yeah, so I wonder though, like with that, with all of that exchange, I wonder did any of the taste profile change? Like, I wonder is this a different profile than what it was intended to be? Yeah, I'm sure that that distiller, that dude, 
that was making this back in the <laughs> 19, 15 or whatever. I'm sure he has some secrets that got lost to time. For sure. I mean? yeah, it's like grandma's old recipe. It ain't, it ain't gonna be exactly the same. I'm getting some caramel. I'm getting some vanilla. I'm mm-hmm. getting, getting a little little chocolate cocoa. It's a, it's definitely a sweeter smell. Some oak. You like oakiness too, mm-hmm. I think. I'm curious. <laughs> Dog said he couldn't wait. <laughs> it's, it's gonna sound really bad. Uh oh. All I can smell is wood. <laughs> Really? All you can smell is wood off the cock. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to, but it's all I can smell. Oh, God. So that char is awesome. Mm. I do get the I got, char. I got, I got strong vanilla, then I got some, a little bit of caramel. It's It almost seems like it's something, some kind of fruit sweetness I, in it, too, though. like an orange. Something. Kind of Maybe it's just, yeah. I'm, I'm curious now. I got to see. Yeah, I got to see what it is now. Yeah, orange and chocolate. I mean, it's all stuff. Mm-hmm. And you can taste the orange. You can taste the orange. You definitely for sure. taste the orange. Yeah. You taste yeah. definitely that, cit- that citrusy. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Decent finish too, though. Like a nice little finish to it. I uh, I'm trying to see what it remind me of. Now it is a, uh, it is cocoa, and it is kind of caramely on the on the nose. But then, like when I taste it, all I taste is the fruit sweetness. Like the, the caramel. I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting char and orange. That's char and orange, right? On the smell and on the taste. That's all I'm getting. Oh, you know, yeah, I get the I, I get the cocoa else. and the off the top off the off the nose. I don't taste it though. All I taste is the, the citrus. I get citrus. You know, I, I get a little a little caramel, maybe caramel apple type sweetness mm. or something. And then, uh, you know, then and then then there's like. For me, it finishes with like the strong kind of like oakiness. Yeah, you know? it's a nice hug to it. Yeah, yeah it's a nice yeah. hug to it. Nice hug. It's decent. I, okay, especially for, for ninety, 90 proof. For yeah. ninety proof, yeah, that's all I was gonna say. And I ain't gonna lie to you though, the presentation of the bottle, though, you can't really see it because, like, I guess you probably can't see the texture, but mm-hmm. the texture of it is like really like a, a chicken, like yeah, real. like it's so, like chicken yeah. feathers. Mm-hmm. That's the texture of the bottle. We'll try to get a close up during the video, but uh, yeah, you gonna get a close up of it. Yeah, <laughs> I sure am. I'm gonna get a close up of the cut. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> I set myself up for that. I, I really did, though. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Again, though, I, I do want to say, and it, it's got it's got some decent legs on it too, though. Mm-hmm. So, uh, cause I, I like the I like the oil the oiliness yeah. of it. Okay. That's right. Yeah, I forgot to mention the leg. Yeah, it got it really do got some decent legs on it. Though. It does so, straight yeah. up. Though. I like it though. So and and again, it's not bad. Normally, I like the uh, like the caramel or the the cocoa sweetness, which I, I did uh, smell on the nose. Um, it ends with the taste of citrus though, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. A lot of times, I'm not though. I ain't gonna lie to you. A lot of times, the fruit sweetness just doesn't do it for me. But this one is a uh, I like it. It's, it's subtle and it's got a nice enough hug for you. Yeah, it got that spiciness. To it. Yeah, it's got yeah, some yeah, spice yeah. to it at the end, really? and, and it's still it's still I'm back getting, here. It's out there. Getting spice. I'm getting the hug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm getting the yeah, I'm getting the spice I get, I get, I get in my tongue. The yeah, yeah. 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 Orange and chart. That's all good. Yeah, it's definitely some spice in there. And I haven't smoked nothing yet either. So let me see uh see what that's looking like. What is, uh... Now see it's it's got a little sweetness to it, and, and right now I'm smoking a uh fat bottom betty. So I mm-hmm. this might not be a, a great mix because this is also sweet, but we'll see how it comes out. I got a uh Cuban Fonseca. That boy been on this Cuban thing for about three months. <laughs> And I'm smoking an epic Maduro. Mm. Dominican Republic. It's another one of the cigars we got in the uh, smoke on the water. Gotcha. Mm. Okay. Let's okay. see. I think. Yeah, I, I think for me, this is not going to be a. Mm. Cigar mm-hmm. does nothing for me. So for, the, for me. Especially for me, because this is it's sweet. It's sweet on sweet. And I don't think it's not a good combination. I think it's not bad. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't dislike it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's one of my favorites, you know. Okay. But I think I will keep it rotated in the bar, you know. So mm-hmm. like when I finish this bottle, you know, um, I think I will put pick up another bottle. It's not bad, right? It's something you can pull out when you have guests, things like that, right? And this is a story, the, it's a story time bottle. Yeah, and, and it's a good story behind it. What's that? What's the price point? Forty five. Mm. 45. I was pricey. thinking maybe 35. No, it's, it's a little pricey. And, yeah. yeah. And okay. I think a lot, I think, I think a lot of that you, you paying for something the story. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, and it's a it's a it's a dope story. So I I have to say that. Definitely a story piece. I think that it'll it'll start a conversation. Um 
possibly a good uh, transition from other spirits. So, like, we got brandy drinkers or cognac drinkers. This might be a decent uh, transition for them. Uh, because of the sweetness, it kind of gives you the the feeling of cognac because cognac has that that fruit sweetness. So possibly that. Uh, not bad though. Yeah, definitely something to keep around. It you know, like I said, to bring out for the guests. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I see. Uh, I, I see your principal close. making all kind of faces. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. So I'm trying to figure out what you all are seeing. Mm-hmm. You're not seeing I mean, none of that. And, at all. And you know what? It, it'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> it does. You yeah, know, it really. Did. And then when you mm-hmm. said when I asked, that's why I asked the price. Mm-hmm. That's even worse. So, yeah. yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling this at all. It doesn't do anything with the skin. <laughs> you said at all. You said at all. And so only get charred oranges out of it. That's all I'm getting. Yeah. So for my taste buds, it's not working for you. Not happy with this at all. Especially not man. As much hype as they had it out there. Gotcha. Especially when, like when you go to one of the big box stores. That's what they said to me. Yeah. The gotcha. First time they tried to sell it to me. Okay. And I'm totally underwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, so on that note, I'm super, I'm super excited to see what his rating is gonna be because this dude get low with his. Both, both of them get low with there. So we're gonna see how it goes. Uh you got the prelim the preliminary <laughs> analysis. Yeah, it's already up. Yeah, yeah. Got the preliminary analysis. But uh real quick, we gonna go to commercial break. And when we get back, we're gonna break it down and see exactly uh what we gonna give it. One to three. Now one to three, one to five, five black power fists. Just the rock. We gonna figure it out. Uh, I'm gonna figure it out as soon as we get back from this break, man. You know what it is, BBW, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey. The Especially podcast. Like <laughs> He'll be back right after this. <laughs> Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. And we're back. Thank you for hanging out for the commercial breaks. Of course, you already know what it is, man. BBW. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back, man. Angry Principal, Bo holding it down. And of course, your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 4205, man. All right, let's get back to it. Uh, if you uh just checking out and you hadn't checked this out in the first half, uh, you'll know that Angry Principal don't really like this. <laughs> so we go we go go around the block and see exactly what the rating is going to be from one to five. See uh you know how the guys is feeling about it. Don't forget if you have not already subscribed to our YouTube page, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the QR code down at the bottom, and you can actually check out some of our merch. We got glasses, uh, uh mugs, all kind of stuff, hats, t-shirts. Check us out, everybodylovesbbw.com. Hit that QR code right at the bottom of the screen. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, uh, we're going to start with you because you're the, you're the most <laughs> underwhelmed. So angry principal, uh, one of five black power fists. What rating are you giving the chicken cock? I'll try. I'll try. Take your time. Right. Take your time. Right. Yeah, I'm childish. I'm sorry. All right, so I am going to put this mm-hmm. because of the price point. I'm gonna give, make another comparison to what I'm tasting here. Okay. I'm putting on the same lines as Kyber Bell. That's how bad I think. Yo, mm. that's derogatory. That's that's how bad I think this is. <laughs> that's, a, that's derogatory, See, bro. I do not like this. It, it, at it can't all. be that bad. It, to me, it is. <laughs> to me, I, I, I genuinely, I'm done. I'm not. Damn. You know, this one is. This one is my one. This is my one. Damn. I, I this, okay. this is a. Point five to one. Mm. Yeah. You, got, you got half a knuckle up. On Hold it. up. Point five. Damn. Yeah, just damn. Up point zero five. Whatever it is. Yeah. Point no. It's, I'm it's, no. It's point five. Yeah. Point five. It's, it's, but I'm just saying. God damn. Yeah, it's, it's that I, bad. I mean, I don't like it. Especially not at forty five. Okay. Now, once you said forty five, my opinion went. They went down. Right down. So yeah. I'm giving it. A, I'm giving it a point five to one. I'm in that area. Damn, mm. one he said 0.51. Right. Yeah, it's, mm. it's, yeah, that's rough. But what you say? Charred man? oranges is all I take. Charred oranges. <laughs> <Charred though. oranges. laughs> what you say? I'm man? imagining something. Charred oranges now. Right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out why the fuck is they charged. <laughs> I mean, uh, why the F are they charged? So, um. So, what, like I said earlier, I don't dislike it. I don't love it. Um. I, I give it right around a two and a half, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and reasons being because 
I do enjoy that citrusy flavor a bit, you know, not overpowering, mm-hmm. but a little bit in the bourbon, right? So um, th- that that attracted me to it there a little bit. Uh, it, it, it's it's got a decent finish, you know. The proof is a little low for me. Um, honestly, I think the most attractive thing about it is is really the story, you know. Uh, yeah. So, like I said. It's, I give it a solid two and a half. It's something that that, that I, I would definitely buy again. Mm-hmm. Um, not something that like I'm gonna keep it in you know like my personal rotation, mm-hmm. you know, but something I'm gonna keep on the bar. Right. For sure. And 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 and, and just for the record, I, I didn't like Kuiper Belt, mm-hmm. but I've, I think I've had worse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, I didn't think it was as bad as. A lot of folks, yeah, not just y'all two, but mm-hmm. a lot of folks out there, right? Did you, did you have, did you ever have it again, like in the, out of different bottle? Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I right. the day. yeah. I'm really starting to feel like we got a bad bottle, because yeah. like just after hearing everybody's review, it's like, damn, they can't be drinking the same thing that we drinking. Well, like, I mean, after possibly, all the reviews on Chicken Cock, oh, the same thing, the same thing. That's can't exactly the same thing. Right? All these people <laughs> been raving over this, yeah, mm-hmm. and. That's yeah, why I was I'm, interested when when uh, Bo said he was bringing. It. I was like, All right, yeah. cool. I'm gonna get to taste it. Yeah. And unfortunately, this ain't not my enough. palate. Gotcha. It's not for my. For no, my I don't think it. it's worth all the hype. Definitely not. That. Right. Yeah. No. Okay. So 0.5 and 2.5. All right. So I guess it's uh, it's on me now. Uh, so again, kind of a little bit deceiving because on the nose to me, I, I I felt like it was some caramel and some cocoa going on. So I was kind of anticipating that you could get off of the nose that it was going to be a little bit of sweetness to it which is why it doesn't really uh, pair well with the uh, Fat Bottom Betty because it's like too much sweetness going on. But it ended up being more citrus than anything else, which I'm not normally a fan of like the fruit sweetness, but I think this is this is decent. It almost, to be honest, it almost tastes like it's mixed with something already. Um, at 90 Proof, 90 Proof did used to be my thing, but now because of these guys, I'm, 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 I love everything over 100 now for whatever reason. But uh, so, yeah, I, I think it's decent. Uh, I'm not going to go as high as two five. I am going to say two point though. Uh, just want to try it with the with the water in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I'm going to give it a two point um, just because I, I wanted a little more uh, caramel or uh, you know or, or cocoa to it. So that's what I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give it a two point You say two point five. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna risk it boy. Point five, right? <laughs> I'm kind of curious now. I want to see what happens. You get a little. So in case y'all wondering, this is just some some limestone right. bourbon water here. You know, just to try to open it up, you know, uh, uh, your bourbon a little bit. Yeah. You so know, you don't a, add too much, just a bit on it. We gonna see what it does. I just wanted to clean my glass out. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it a little sweeter, actually. Yeah. But it does bring out some. I, it, it I can't believe it up you a little bit. Yeah. I can't believe you don't get that spice. Yeah, I, that, yeah. So the, I think the water opened that spice. I though. think on the finish, like that spice really hit me on the finish. So you know what? Zero spice for me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I give it a two point five off of the off of the drop of water. It opens it up a little bit. It's a little bit, dare I say, a bit of a change in the taste profile with the a drop bit, of water. Yeah, a yeah. bit. Yeah. Open up that profile a bit. And look, see, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm ch- telling you. Challenge accepted. I'm, okay, I'm telling you. Okay, we got the bonus here. footage here. Right, the bonus footage right, you know right, footage right hey. here. All right, so this is after the facts. We're going to drop the uh, and what, what's the brand on this? Oh, limestone. All right, so it's mixing water. It's, yeah, it's it, it, it just you can go to Amazon. I got mm-hmm. two bottles for like I think it was like fourteen bucks or something. There's actually it's a little bit of a difference. Let's see, this is the real test now. <laughs> mm-hmm. <Let's see. laughs> I believe it. Okay. I, it changes the profile just a bit. All right, I'm still smelling our charred oranges. That's all. Okay, you go get the spice now though with the with the drop of water. Here it come. Bam, spice. No spice. No <laughs> spice at all. Old spice. He said, no, no no spice. No change. He said, oh, he said, no, I'm, he said I'm still at a point five. No. Right. I'm at yeah. point two five now. It went down. Yeah, no spice. Uh, still just oranges and char. Well, we tried. And that's it. Yeah, we tried. We tried it. No, well, not, I was hoping. <laughs> Everything ain't for everybody. I feel like yeah, it did, cool. though. Like, I really feel like I. Okay. Well, I gave it a shot. And then so, it took the hug away once I put some water in. It took it took the long the long hug away, but it opened up the spice for me. Man, no, nope, not the okay. I got you. All right, well, we tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now, for me. So, 
<laughs> we got this point we five and two two point fives. Um, again, uh, you know, everybody's palette is different, so definitely suggest that you uh, check it out for yourself. Uh, price point, I think, maybe a, a little bit high, so I think that might deter you a bit. But I will tell you, at least if you've got a bar, this is a great conversation piece, not a bad piece to have on the bar. I'm not saying that you're going to visit it like you know hella often. Um, but it's definitely got a great story behind it, yeah. and you know, good. I mean, good they ain't gonna catch your, catch your attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. right? But <laughs> catch your attention, but like, yeah, just the, the story for me is is great. I would keep it on the bar. It'll like probably if you drink that much out of it, that'll probably be that way for quite a while. But <laughs> you know, that's gonna be the dusty bottle. In my yeah, place. once you tell there. the story though, like you offer the shot to the person you explain the story to, mm-hmm. and see how that goes. Yeah. And then, yeah, keep it going. Conversation like piece, yes. There you go. For $45. No. <laughs> and see, I like this better than um the the fucking vodka. The F the uh, really? for Kings, not yeah. God's vodka. Yeah. yeah. I like this better than I wasn't a big fan of that. It wasn't it wasn't mm-hmm. that great. I think especially, and I don't want to get off into theirs, but for the for the proof to be so high, I yeah, think I was right. disappointed. Yeah. 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 That's all that was. Mm-hmm. All right. So you got it, man. 0. 0.5, two uh two point fives here. Check it out for yourself. I think it's a uh, it's it's decent. I'm not gonna say it's a uh, worse than Kuiper Belt. I don't know why he would say that, but uh, <laughs> that I don't bad. think it's that bad for it. Can't be that bad. Well, I'm I'm the I'm the lone one on my I I, I can be on my island. I'm all right. With that. <laughs> I guess <laughs> okay. right. we go wrong with it there. Sometimes you just gotta be on that Sometimes. island. Sometimes. On that note, man, don't forget to make sure that you do like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out all the merchandise we got right now. Hit that QR code right at the bottom of the screen. Uh, that's it. Check out all the replays at, at uh, everybodylovesbbw.com. And, uh, yeah, we going to get on to the next show. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Angry Principal off camera. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man Bo holding it down. Ross, I mean, I was going to. Give you another shout out, bro. But it looks like you got something going on with 50 right now. So I'm going to let y'all settle that down. Then I'm going to get back with you, bro. I'll say. (laughs) And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. (laughs) Peace out, y'all.